What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny and today we are exploring Stone Age. Um, so we drove from London, which is about 1 hour and 40 minutes, but depending on traffic, you can do it in even a little bit more, maybe like an hour and 50. And you probably heard about Stone Age because it's a quite popular place. Um, so we decided to come here. Stone Age is part of the English heritage. So if you get a membership card, you have free access. Uh, as soon as you get here, you show your tickets because of the pandemic. Now you are forced to do uh, pre-booking and then um, you can either walk to site. According to a gentleman on the entrance, you should take about 30 minutes or you can take a shuttle bus, which we did because it was um, right on time of the bus leaving. So now we are walking around the Stone Age circle and there's one thing that you should know about is that you can actually download an audio book uh, so it's a free app that you can download uh, once you get that you download the audio guide and then of course you have the numbers so that you know whenever you have to click on them and listen to the information Stonehenge is probably the most sophisticated prehistoric stone circle in the world a mysterious megalithic monument that lifts a lot of questions to this day how were these stones transported to the site and put together? Who built it? And what was the original purpose of the circle? Stonehenge is about 5,000 years old and based on archaeological discoveries, it has been built and modified over hundreds or even thousands of years by different people who would modify the site according to their needs. From religious ceremonies, burials, astronomy studying or even serving as a calendar. Since it is possible to identify the shortest and longest days of the year by the alignment of the sun with some of the stones. The circle is made of different stones. While sarsens, the largest stones, as tall as 9 meters and weighting around 25 tons, were transported around 20 miles to the site. The smaller blue stones, weighting around 4 tons each, were transported from Wales. And while there are some theories about how these extremely heavy stones were transported before the invention of the wheel, like being rolled on tree trunks or being transported by boat on the river Avon, no one knows for sure. And that was it for today. I hope you guys enjoy the visit to this incredible site that to this day still lifts a lot of questions. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit the bell button and subscribe. And I can't talk because Joel is pretending that he's playing golf. <laughs> <laughs>